Hello UiPath experts, welcome to the UiPath.learner channel. Thank you very much for subscribe my channel. So today we will see about the, the concept called templates. So, so once you open the UiPath studio, you can see the process, library and template. Let's create a template. So suppose for example, your, your organization so is using the a common uh, reusable kind of things or you are just using the some structured way then you can create a structured way some templates just created one template like a ul ul business process ui path learner process This is a just a uh, template. Basically, it is a one workflow. So you're just giving the some skill ten of the workflow. Let us see hi here. Suppose, for example, you are just uh, your, your organization is uh, most of the projects uh, you are using the the common libraries or common template. So suppose, for example, here what we can do uh, every time I no need to install uh, some packages. It is a mandatory that suppose. For, for example, just create a web. There is a one uipath.web.activities package is a mandatory for all the processes. So every time I don't need to just go to the manage packages and install the web.activities because so it's a commonly we are using for the whole the all almost all kind of projects. So, so okay, just imagine. So in the organization, so most of the projects having the JSON things we are using. So and also there is a one word activities also we are using. So what I'm saying is here, you no need to install these things every time. Okay. So once you choose this template, that's what. So, so if you're doing the same type of work regularly into each and every project, then you can create your own template for that. And whenever you just create a new project, just choose the template. See here, we install the Word and Web API, these things are all there, right? So let us go to project and create a, a template. I'm just creating the state mission. For this state mission, so we can create a, uh, this is the main process, top level, this is the UL main process and within that, so just add uh, uh, some states like a, for the linear, linear kind of thing, just add the state, add the state, add the final state. Let's imagine so it's a linear kind of thing. Okay, this is like an initial state, your state. This is like a process state, final state, end state. Okay, so this is a one small uh, thing where we're just using the uh, linear kind of processes. Just imagine, so not the transactional based uh, uh, kind of thing, uh, transaction based. Uh, uh, projects so it's uh, like a linear based projects end process completed and this is a success Okay, let it be. Giving the some annotations. Initialize objects, initialize uh, uh, data to, to variables.
check file exist or not something like that so check database connections this kind of code and all it is should be there here okay this kind of code so later after that so this is a process this process is like a just imagine this is a process this is a main process so main process once uh, i mean main process logic should be here like a it is something like that so, so see here so i'm just uh, creating this kind of uh, things but uh, so this is like a end process where you are just uh, simply adding the closing all applications closing all database connections closing all uh, files sends summary mails okay this kind of thing see this is a one what you are just simply designing one small beautiful workflow or the process basically the template so where the other people has to follow this kind of same same type of uh, uh, sequence whenever they want to create a new project okay that's what uh, the, the meaning of this one so you're not actually creating the the main process so instead of that so you just uh, creating the template so that uh, people can use it. so the uh, employees the developers can use directly to this process see here uh, this is like a, this one okay start initial process main process and end process and also if you want to create a folders like a so any folders like a something like a error screens some folders okay config config details input files all right these kind of things if you just want to add these things and all you can just simply add and save the templates okay so once you've done what you have to do publish let us publish template information so ul business process that is a ul business process local click on the finish publish okay now it is a published into this location is a publish into this location ul business okay let's go to the new process here the templates are there okay templates you can add see here ul business process came here okay ul business process came here you can just simply utilize this one or see here the all the information the description these things are all there okay for each and every process now right click on this or you can just simply um, how can you create local this is a local process use this you can just simply make this as a use or see this process came here automatically this this template came here in the start menu you can see here ul business process so once i just close this ui path studio reopen that just imagine so the, your developers your team is uh, using this one and once uh, your team is opened uh, okay once you launched into the local so once you open this uh, ui path uh, studio they open the ui path studio how the background process and the orchestrator process and uh, 
RE framework, robotic enterprise framework templates are looking like that. So in the same way, they can simply take the new process, new, new template as a new process as a template. So like see here, project, just create. Once they create a new project by using your template, so it automatically added all the things, settings you added earlier to that project. Okay, let's go here. You can see in the main, see our whole process came, right? So directly I can use. So and also one more thing is uh, no need to add, they, they don't need to add this word and documents, these things and all. Got it? So these folders are not saved. That's what we have to understand. One thing is the folders are not saved and the manage packages. Basically, the, they don't need to uh, add same kind of reuse, uh, that mean regularly used packages every time. They can just simply use the package as a template. They can simply use the template. So, and also the structure, the structure, how you build these things and all. Okay, they just simply use your template and utilize that template and right so create a their own process okay that's it so that is a process uh, creating the template let us see coming days the more information please subscribe if you not yet have subscribed so okay so please share and also there is a join button is also there join as a sky member so to get the more project uh, hands-on experience thank you very much bye bye